Um, so I've been thinking a lot, who am I kidding? I'm always bloody thinking. I start all my bloody videos like that. But more specifically, these last few hours or whatever it's been, um, I've been thinking about the fact that I wear my heart on my sleeve and everything I do in life, I do it with my heart. Um, it's difficult because some people say you need to follow your head, you need to follow your heart, you know. It's kind of like the nature-nurture debate, I feel. Um, but my thinking is that I need to follow my heart and let my head follow. And if my head isn't feeling it, I stop my heart with my head. I don't know if that makes sense. It kind of does in my head. I'm not very good at explaining things most of the time. Um, but, for example, so say I am messaging someone and I open their message and you know with my heart I'm kind of like oh yeah they've replied so I'll open the message and then my head recognizes that I'm not ready to reply to that yet maybe I've got too much on my head or maybe I've opened the message by mistake or whatever um, but I know that I can't reply to that message with heart at that moment in time because my head's too full. So that's when OCD comes in and I'm like, okay, so I've opened their message. I need to let them know, make them aware that I have opened their message. So I will kind of just, yep, I've, I've recognized you, that I've opened your message. It's all good and I will reply later um, because I need to do it when I'm ready, but I feel guilty, I suppose. Um, and as I say, OCD, I kind of need to compartmentalise it in my mind. I need to park it. Like, okay, I've got that person to reply to, but I'm not ready to reply at that moment in time. So I don't. Um, yeah. Um, but everything I do in this life, I literally do it with heart. Like, I want to put my all into things. Um, I kind of feel like if you've got something to do, you need to give it your all. Um... Otherwise, I kind of feel like it's not worth doing. Some things, I don't know. I can't give too many examples. The examples that I kind of feel like I want to give might get me in trouble. <laughs> but some things you do because you have to, don't you? But most of the things, it's kind of like, actually, no, I can give... A... And if you give more with heart, you put your heart and soul into stuff, you get more out of it. Um, whatever it is, like, I'm looking at my fridge, cleaning my fridge, right? So instead of just giving your fridge a quick wipe, if you take all the shelves out, if you like take everything out of the fridge, you know, everything that's like a bit funky looking, you need to get rid of, everything that's a little bit funky looking that you think you could use up, make a soup. <laughs> um, and then you've washed all of your shelves and your fridge is looking gleaming. You can put your fridge back and then put it all in order. That's that's my freakiness way. Um, but you feel really good about how well you've cleaned your fridge, right? Whereas if you just quickly wipe your fridge and you're just like, nah, 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 yeah, done it, you're not gonna feel as good as about how well you've cleaned your fridge. It's an example, right? Um, but I feel like you can put that into every situation in life. Like, do everything with heart, do everything with soul, and you'll feel better about the things that you do. And then you'll generally feel happier. That's my feelings.